Yo, what up, y'all? What is shaking here on a Tuesday evening slash Monday morning, whatever you want to call it, a little early here on a Wednesday night, Tuesday night, for crying out loud, tomorrow is Wednesday. Uh, what do we got going today? Today was shorted, uh, 18 months of it, nothing uh, new. Both stocks down a little bit, 4 or 5% or so. We'll touch on that. S&P was red as far as uh, other stocks go. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we got the $360 million waterfront property of Kenny G's brand new uh, digs down in Miami area there. He also left in dust. I see the uh, $50 million worth of donations, whatever the hell he gave to the Illinois Republican that uh, did not work out so well. We'll touch on that. Oh, and then, God dang it, speaking of Kenny Griffin, uh, his good old pal, the old bailout that he did, uh, Mr. Plotkin has shut the doors down. We'll take a look at that nice chunk of property down there. It is up for lease, for rent, whatever the hell they're doing with it down there. Uh, beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, SEC giving out a whopping fine, a big ripper, and a couple other things. So let's just fire right into this son of a gun here. Here we go. The Art of America Building, 535 Madison Avenue. This is 14,765 square feet of four-star, not five, four-star office space available in New York. New York, look at this. Oh, oh, we got a gym here. I mean, what else do you need, folks? Gorgeous piece in uh, New York right there. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, I'll pop a link in there in case any of y'all are looking to rent this maybe post-squeeze. Uh, we can go down there and, and open something up, or at least maybe maybe we can rent it for a night and just have an absolute shindig uh, on Gabe Plotkin there. So that's a, a damn shame. He will be popping up. The guy is actually pretty goddamn good. He really is, numbers-wise. Stats-wise, we touched on that uh, before his GameStop debacle, but that's what happens rather than going after a whole sector and you're trying to bury one stock and you just got caught. That was a pretty big getting caught type of a deal basically busted him before kenny and the boys uh bailed him out uh they would have gone bust plus who knows there's a, there was a reason i said it the day that that happened well over a year ago i think yeah about a year over a year 15 months ago or so when kenny bailed him out and uh the other hedge fund gave him a few bucks there to keep him afloat kept him afloat for a while his returns were kind of okay and then not so good, and then he had to pay the Kenny back, and uh, away they go. So, anyway, if anybody's looking for a nice piece of property, there you go. New York, New York. S&P, energy again green. AM Sizzle, 1338 down 531, 5.31%, down a teeny weeny bit in the flat ass of trading hours. GameStop, won't stop, down 409 to 124 and 38 and a little teeny weeny 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 bit in this always dead uh no volume after hours so away we go basically down four or five percent on both of our stocks today i seen amc's borrow rate gone up from what were we at last night 24 points somewhere right in here now we're at 29.2 with 45,000 has been in the till for hours now we'll see what pops up tomorrow doesn't matter they're always going to pop up GME is sitting at what? Not a one. Zero. Four, 400. I've seen somebody post a screenshot today of like 26 shares that pop up. I don't know why I get so much humor out of that. It doesn't really matter. It's just funny. So that is that there. Boobs up track, or I think was at 2.2. Yep, 2.213 uh, again. Now, economy's fine, folks. Nothing's going on. Retail, housing. Everything's strong. Don't even worry about it. Blah, blah, blah. This was a little bit weird. I get it, but still. Just keep your return. Stores way paying you not to bring un 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 unwanted items back. Now, this just kind of planted a seed for everybody and their mother out there. And they gave a list of stores supposedly considering it. It's going to include Target, Walmart, Gap. You can get some expensive crap from Gap, can't you? Uh, American Eagle Outfitters, AEO, whatever the hell that is, reports that their latest earning calls that they have too much inventory. They're stocked with crap. So, instead of piling return merchandise, 
onto this growing inventory heap, stores are considering just handing customers their money back and keep your shit. Okay, great. What else was I going to touch on this article? I think that was it. But still, I mean, hello. This was today's article? A couple days ago. Saturday, June 26th. So, Jesus. Too much crap. We're just going to hand you your dough back. We don't want your crap back. Wow, dudes. Wowie. SEC handing out a ripper here today. Ian Y. Ernst and Young to pay $100 million penalties for employees cheating on CPA ethics exams and misleading investigation. Of course they were. Of course they were. The SEC today charged Ernst and Young LLP for cheating in its audit professionals on exams required to obtain and maintain certified public accountant CPA licenses. I, I don't understand this one. I do, but I don't. And for withholding evidence of the misconduct from the SEC's enforcement division, of course they did too. EY admits the fact underlying the SEC's charge and agrees to pay 100 million smackaroos. That's our big one, folks, on one of my favorite websites here, sec.gov, under the news press releases dated today. That's outstanding. Good job, boys. Pay up. Uh, oh, I just blew out that article, whatever the hell it was. Doesn't matter. Oh, I got two of them basically on the same thing anyway. Here we are. Look at Charlie Payne. He pinned this tweet today, folks. This was today early morning, 5.31 a.m. my time here in sunny Arizona, uh, right down here, 94 degrees at uh, 9.03 at night. That heat's so weird down here, I can't quit talking about it. Okay, anyway, it's short squeeze season again. Hedge funds are net short, and their mouthpieces are going all over TV trying to talk the market down another leg. But they, are, but they are being squeezed big time. Heavy short names, champing at, chomping at the bit to pre-market trading. That was early this morning, be a pre-market trading. Wow, dudes. I'm expecting a big run here, too. It looks like Chucky e. Payne is as well. Frickin' A outstanding. Tomorrow, GME Brad. This is going to be a good one here. He's got D. Lauer on over on the old Twitch. Looks like they're going to be discussing... Uh, AME on the on uh, Dave Lauer stuff, GME, DRS, computer shares. So that will be good. Here's the Twitch stream here. If you're following Dave Lauer or GME Brad, I'll put both their links in there. And then the Twitch stream will be here tomorrow. Does it say a time? I'm a thousand percent watching this. Three to four Eastern. So noon my time. Three to four Eastern. Uh, both of these folks. I think Lauer has it tweeted, I'm sure, too. D. Lauer, D. Lauer, looking for, yeah, right there. So I'll pop both of those in there, and then you can just click the damn Twitch link tomorrow. But that'll be good. Anything Dave's in and uh, GME Brad's out outstanding as well. So that'll be a good one. 3 to 4 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Just tune in, folks. Tune in. Can, this was hilarical, hysterical. Now, in reading this and reading the other, other article with his new uh, big whopping estate down there, he this is, he started buying chunks, it looks like. In April, the move down there, talking crap about Illinois was five months ago when he did that interview, that sit down, talking about the crime and blah, blah, blah. So this has been in the works. But he's got a compound work in there. And basically him poofing out of Illinois, he leaves, leaves behind his candidate, right? Griffin back to Aurora Mayor Richard Urban, whose support is tanking poll show. But the billionaire's aide says... His departure is unrelated. It has to do with everything. He's out of there, period. Gone. And we'll show why he is in a minute. There he is, Kenny. Handsome fella. Uh, Chicago hedge fund billionaire Kenny G made a big business decision Thursday by announcing plans to pull up stake in Illinois. But his move is be also being read as in some circles as a political slap in the face. <laughs> this was hilarious. Being viewed as a waving of the white flag for the GOP Hopefully, what, whom Griffin uh, gave a staggering 50 mil this year. You know, he's written that chump change off and just said, you know what, screw you, Illinois. You got no shot of winning. Here's the white flag. Peace. <laughs> and then, over here, look at this. Griffin's Citadel seen behind record $363 million Miami land purchase. What's well, funny in this, and we'll touch on this too, is they talked about 2019 when COVID and I brought this up a couple days ago, and we brought this up a year ago, plus when uh, I found that damn article 
showing that compound they bit in the, uh, built in the hotel room and dug up all those fiber optics around the blocks and just had the families in there on, in a closed hotel. I think that probably got things rolling there, too, because a lot of the, the sidekicks, Kenny's homies and cronies uh, in Citadel have moved, already moved down there. So, yeah. Verm's headquarters shipped to Miami began to accelerate months ago with a waterfront property in the city's financial district. 363 million bucks. Now it's only 2.5 acres right here. Griffin and his company were behind a $363 million purchase of a 2.5 acre vacant site. The deal closed in April. Uh, a couple more highlights here. The firm's decision to relocate wasn't connected to any special incentive or tax breaks. Right, right, right. Uh, the billionaires assembled property in Palm Beach over the past decade cost at least $350 million. Some of Griffin's traders left their Chicago and New York offices and took over the Four Seasons Palm Beach during the COVID-19 pandemic. That was when they dug up the whole damn neighborhood there to lay their cables down to get faster trading in a hotel lobby during COVID, trying to bankrupt the entire retail sector. Master plan, really. Griffin bought multiple sites in the Miami area, more recently including properties of exclusive Star Island in mid-2020 and a $45 million mansion in the Coral, Coral Gables neighborhood in April. So he is a full-on blooded Miami uh, folk now. Good for him, sir. Why does he take Plotkin down there and get him under the, the wing there? Who knows? Gabe will round up a few bucks there. Uh, if you need that building, there you go. I'll pop a link in there uh, if you guys are looking to rent something. We will fire in the D. Lauer and the interview tomorrow. Stay tuned for that tomorrow at 3 o'clock Eastern till 4 o'clock. Uh, that'll be a doozy. Okay, guys. It's a uh, happy hump day is already upon us, basically. Uh, let's see what in the hell happens tomorrow. We went uh, yesterday... Red GameStop up 13.5% yesterday, AMC, and then both down about 4 or 5% tomorrow. What's going to happen tomorrow? Who in the hell knows? We have no clue. This thing could run up to 72 bucks or be shorted down to 11.33. We ain't got the foggiest of clues. But you know what? We're going to be here to talk about it, and it's always fun. Okay, dudes and dudettes, I will see you tomorrow. Love you all. Later.